Hello everyone. So I'm going to show you like a before picture because I actually haven't started filming since we've done this bed uh, this bedroom, this lounge. Um, so this back wall was completely black. So Callum has whitewashed it. Was it three coats in the end? Yeah, three coats. Three coats. And then I took the wallpaper off this wall. So we have literally got like a blank canvas all around the room. We've just been to B&Q. We actually are really surprised at how much B&Q was. We thought it would have been like over £100. And we literally spent like £77. So I'm going to show you quickly what we've got. So on this back wall, just let me quickly explain. So all along this back wall, we're going to have panelling along here with the panelling going down. Um, so we actually got the ready-made kits from B&Q. These were... £25.95 each so we spent £52 something in the end on two packs and then in this bag we got the stuff that you cork with which I think is the right stuff I hope and then we got two of the no more nails glue that bond that we we're going to put onto the boards and stick them onto the wall we then got a saw which I think we're going to need to cut down the wood and then obviously the glue gun as well and then I think that was it wasn't it but yeah that all came to £77 so yeah we're going to have it going all the way along half the wall um, obviously we've got annoying light switches as well which is really irritating we've obviously got a radiator on the wall but we need to measure how each gap's going to be and go from there so this is the start of renovating our little lounge. <laughs> we started to measure the bottom bit, but we just realised we probably need to gloss first. So we're just going to literally gloss that bottom strip because it's got like sticky stuff on the top. And the previous people had stuff obviously on the skirting. So that is what Callum is doing now. He's just sanding it down, ready for us to gloss. We're just using this stuff for the skirting boards um apparently it's meant to be really really good and it's quick dry as well so hopefully it don't take too long to um dry but obviously we're going to do the whole room with that anyway but we're just going to do that for now so we can get the panel in up ready so that's all dried ready to probably potentially paint it tomorrow um hopefully but I've decided I'm going to have the panel in Egyptian cotton and then all the rest of the walls are going to be white and then also the top half above the panel in is going to be white and then I'm going to add like black accents to the room and also we've got a really nice rustic wooden clock as well which will look lush. Um, TV's going on the wall so yeah hopefully we'll have this room done in no time. Um, we've also got a rug being delivered and then all I need is to get my freestanding mirror, a TV unit, and also my table and chairs as well, and a green plant. And then we are pretty much done in this room. Um, oh, and curtains as well I need to get. And some picture frames. But yeah, we're pretty much getting there with all of it, which is really, really good. So Callum is just gluing the bottom bit on now. We've had a bit of an issue with the spacing, but we just thought if we glue the bottom now, then hopefully it will be, we can work it out from there. So fingers crossed, it works. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we're gonna, I just tested the gloss on there, just see how many coats it would take. But we've obviously, I painted the skirting now, so we're just doing the panel in along the bottom and then go from there. So we're just using the no nails glue as well, so we don't have to nail gun it to the wall. 
But first one's on, we've just put some masking tape on just to hold it in place for now because we're not sure how well the glue's going to hold. Hopefully it's good. No, it will. It's just the... Just to give it more pressure against the wall. Try to give it more pressure. There we go. So that is the next part that's going to go along here. Right, guys, we've literally, I'm not joking, we've probably been doing this for a good hour now, would you say, Cal? probably more than an hour trying to figure out the spacing on this friggin wall it has been such a pain that we think and we hope we might have got it um we've moved it closer we've moved it further away and Callum's literally just we've stared at it he's literally just randomly shimmied it and it all works out to be 700 is it 700 mil yeah each gap so Let's hope and pray this works. I'm going to show you now what it looks like. Um, and fingers crossed. The thing is, with us doing panelling on this wall, it was always not going to be easy because we've got a radiator and plug sockets. Really random plug sockets, which is really annoying. Um, so, fingers crossed it works, but I'll show you now. This is Callum's just sorting them and shimmying them over. But that's basically the position of them all at the moment. So each gap is 700 mil. Um, it's just this end that we've had the issue and obviously the radiator. Um, but it's just a pain. I didn't realise how hard it would actually be to panel with just some simple panning, panelling stuff. But yeah, he's just measuring up. So I'll show you. Hopefully, once it's all in position and we know where we're at, then hopefully we can glue that on so we've secured that and then it's literally just the top rail to go on, which is the same as the bottom. And then the, I call it a dojo rail, I'm not sure if that's what they're called, or like a beading rail above it. So, fingers crossed it works, but I don't know if I said this is going to be Egyptian cotton and then above the rail will be white and then all of these walls will be white as well so yeah fingers crossed it works oh did it come out fast no you all know how fast it comes out <laughs> you need more glue then yeah a lot more Go back over it. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is now Sunday, the is it the 14th today? It is Sunday, the 14th of July, which means one thing it's football tonight. Is England gonna win? You'll probably see this like ages away, and we, we will know the score, but today is football, but also today is still decorating. So, um Callum done the panelling, I think I showed you it all yesterday, I hope. I'm not sure if I actually did, I will show you again in a minute. Um, my skin has flared up quite a bit on my lip, um, so I've just got no makeup on, so excuse that. Um, we're going to my nan's later for her birthday as well, so that will be quite nice. The sun is shining today, which we love, um, but Callum's just masking taping, mask tape, what's it, masking taping? Oh, masking time. Masking taping, that doesn't sound right. Um, the wall so we don't get it on the top half because obviously that's going to be a different colour but he needs to prime it first so we just went to screw fix we're their loyal customers at the moment we're constantly back and forth there which is handy to have literally in your hometown um, there's a fly but yeah he's just mask and tape him so he doesn't get any on the wall um, he's going to prime the wood first because that obviously needs priming and then we can go ahead and start painting it Egyptian Optimus cotton forward. I'm going to gloss all of the skirting boards and do another coat on the radiator as well I'm still not sure whether I need to paint the radiator the same colour as the panelling because it's on the same wall and it will probably look a bit silly so Hopefully, we'll see how it goes, but I'll show you now what he's up to. Um, so, that is what the radiator is looking like. Obviously, a lot different from yesterday. Callum did a coat on it this morning. So, I'm going to be doing all these skirting boards. I also need to do the skirting boards in the bathroom as well. Um, but that's for a different video for you guys. So, I've got so many different clips and videos going on. I need to start like putting them together so I don't get lost track. 
but yeah he's just masking taping and then this all needs to be primed leave that for a bit and then we can start putting the egyptian cotton on which i'm so excited for we still haven't got our rug yet which is really annoying um but yeah i'm so excited to see what this looks like Hello everyone, excuse the state of me, I've got a hair mask in and I need to wash my hair tonight. Um, it's a couple of days later, I haven't actually shown you like the full finished project because I don't want to yet, only because I want to do a separate video of our whole lounge when it's finished, but of course I'll still show you bits and bobs. So Callum is just there. Hello He's everybody. About to put <laughs> He's about to put the clock up onto the wall. Um, so that clock behind me is going up on the wall, so that's what he's doing. Ugh, makes me cringe when holes go in there. And then I'm about to just put the TV unit together that has arrived today. Um, my phone, my camera is now flashing, which is great. So I'm going to put this together. Hopefully I can get a few little clips. If not, I'll do it on my phone. Um, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm going to attempt to do this tv unit because i feel bad that callum has been putting all of the furniture together <laughs> couple of days later and we've got Ella Rosie here this morning she wants to come to our house this morning there she is um, and Callum is now just doing the sideboard we now have the TV unit up like I said I don't want to show you too much I want to give you like a full tour but on to the can't. sideboard next say we bye can't. we can't we can't say bye 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 yeah. hi guys so I think I'm gonna end the video here You've had a few little sneak peeks throughout this video, which I really didn't want to give too much away, but I've sort of shown you a lot. So if you missed anything in the background whilst I was talking, then go back through the video and you'll see sort of what we've been up to. Um, but I'm sure you would have seen it. I'm going to, like I said, do a separate video of our lounge once it's completely done because we still need to do a lot in here. Still got painting to finish, glossing to finish get curtains, pictures, mirrors, etc. So, I am going to leave the video here. This is part one. And then you will see a, probably another part two of us painting more curtains, glossing, etc. I've just done some glossing now. So, probably not glossing, but you'll see some clips of Callum painting. Never we next do that. And curtains and frames. But we're just giving ourselves a bit of a rest because our whole week off we pretty much just decorated because it took longer than expected which is fine yeah that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed the first vlog of us being first time homeowners and decorating our first home um but yeah i hope you did enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe make sure you share the video out to anyone far and wide as possible and i will see you next time in my next video bye guys